TraderInsight.com. I'm Adrian Manns. I'm here with Goran Ognjanovich. He wrote a scanner for that 2SD opening gap that I talked about for hours on, on Sunday afternoon. A lot of you were very interested in how it is that you go through and find these opportunities. This scanner is precisely the way that I go and find them every day. So the scanner that he wrote is the tool that I use each and every day in my own trading. A lot of our traders have migrated over to uh, doing things this way as well because it's really proven itself worth its weight in gold. So welcome, Goran. And um, you know, I want to I want to go through and just sort of talk about how it is that uh, that you went from being a boot camp alumni and a and a student of this stuff to a full time trader, and then to somebody who actually managed to program something up to automate some of this stuff and uh, get you right in front of the opportunities every day. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, we we wanted a way um, to find these. Mm -hmm that is more programmatic and faster, right? And so, and then we also wanted a way to correlate the earnings data and the news data. And that I think was the challenge. It was fairly easy to scan the markets for gaps and calculate the two standard deviation, but then doing the correlation I think was a challenging part. So I think the first version of the scanner really did the basic two standard deviation. And then, you know, we took it to, to, to the trading room and we got some feedback from, from right. kind of a beta, beta group of users and they wanted a uh, they wanted a, a, a faster way to get to the best setups. So we added the um, we added the news feed and we added the, uh, the the earnings feed and that's where we are sort of today. So you guys remember what I was saying at the event. It's it's all about really parsing the data and getting in front of the best opportunity. And in the examples that uh, Goran's referring to, what you want to do is, let's take a look at the scanner. Let's just have a look at this thing and this will give us a really good idea of how this works. So in the left two columns, what you're looking at are the stocks that gapped in the S&P 500, the S&P 400, and you can see if they're marked with an asterisk that those are then earnings related uh, gaps. Now, if you move over one more column, you see this far right column gives you whether or not it gapped on news. And to be able to scrub for this is really pretty important because you'll recall that I said one of the most important things you want to screen out of your uh, morning gaps is unusual news. So if you see that a stock is open on you know, earnings news and, and then also pops up in this far right column, the first thing you should do is just take a look, make sure that it's run of the mill news, just earnings. CEO is not sitting in a jail cell somewhere. It's exactly the kind of thing that you want to be able to trade. And then take a look here at this intraday chart. So this is a five minute chart. And you can see here that we pulled these right from that scanner. So directly from the scanner that Goran developed for TraderInsight.com. And what you're looking at here is a chart of how one of these plays out. So this is one of these beautiful one, two, three pullback kind of entries that uh, I said everybody should focus on right out of the gate. This is textbook gets you in front of the opportunity, screens it for the news, and puts you in place to get sort of one of the easier entries. It also scans for the flip tops and the trap doors and all that other stuff, but this is really where you should start. Now, there's other information on the scanner, and it's not um, as important to me in my trading, but it has been very important to other people in their trading. So some of the guys have asked for these additional developments to be included. Uh, Goran uses them at well as well. Why don't you tell us about uh, what else the scanner looks for? Yeah, so for me personally, I'm a pretty sort of technical systemic trader. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to know in addition to uh, why the stock gapped and that it stopped to, to that it gap two standard deviations, I wanted to know what the opening volume is and what the opening spread is. And what I use with that, or what I do with that is I decide how much volume I can run in a setup and then also whether I'm going to trade it by hand or whether I can have the machine do it for me. And then one more piece that I wanted to do is I wanted Scanner to build a history mm -hmm. uh, of scans over the time so that I can go back and back test the different ways to trade different setups, figure out which ones work for me better and, and things like that. So. so you remember on Sunday I told you one of the most important things was not to go in and start trading anybody's setups really, but, but uh, this setup in particular with real money. And what the historical backtesting feature that Goran built into this uh, uh, piece of software does for you is it'll allow you to go and simulate these trades or just go back and drill through charts, however you want to 
figure out what's going on and see how you would have done had you gone back a month, two months, three months, two years and done every single one of these trades uh, for the entire period that the history is available. Uh, history is a separate product. The scanner itself is priced in a way that if, if you can't make back uh, the cost of the scanner, the monthly cost of the scanner every day that you're trading with it, then you probably shouldn't be trading in the first place. And the historical version of it, rather than a subscription, is just a one-time fixed cost, also very low priced in my opinion, but uh, priced where Goran thought it was a sweet spot that a lot of people would be uh, interested in in access and going through and really practicing these things. He agrees it's important to, to practice the trades. But here's an interesting thing. Goran went back and looked at every single trade that this would have taken. And so, so just from the beginning of this year, where would you be sitting had you taken all the trades mechanically? I would have doubled my account. Right, so it's, it's that powerful a trade. And in this programmer's instance, what he would do is take every single one of those trades by the book, and he would have doubled his account over the course of uh, 2019 so far. So I think it's a great product. If you were at the money show and uh, you were interested in learning how to trade these opening gap setups and dive a little bit deeper into it, it's definitely something that uh, you should consider adding to your uh, tool set. I think it'll get you in front of opportunities every day and make you a professional trader. So for TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, live from Seattle, Washington. <laughs>